Welcome back. Well, we've heard them a few times recently. Sonic booms coming from training by the 180th Fighter Wing of the Ohio Air National Guard. The booms are what the 180th call the sound of freedom. This afternoon, we have Major Philip McCoy, an F-16 fighter pilot with the 180th here to talk a little bit more about that training that's been going on. Thanks for being here today. We appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Yeah, so we've been hearing lots of loud booms going on. We've been getting calls into the newsroom. What's going on? We're like, the 180th is practicing. <laughs> yep. Uh, so during the course of our training flights, sometimes our jets have to go through a pretty heavy maintenance routine. Mm -hmm. And uh, after some of the heaviest of maintenance, we have to do what's called a functional check flight. Okay. Um, so it's, it's a requirement to bring the jet back into the operational rotation. And uh, when we do those functional check flights, part of the profile for that is uh, going supersonic and testing the engine characteristics at that point. So. Uh, when we have to do one of those flights, we uh, require to do that, and we'll try to send out notification and mm -hmm. let everybody know that's going to happen. Yeah, so what exactly is a sonic boom? Like, what is happening when we hear this boom, this big, loud yeah. <laughs> explosion sound? <laughs> uh, so the sonic boom happens anytime an object of any kind goes faster than the sound barrier, so uh, whether it's a bullet or an airplane or what have you, um, the air is separating around the object, and uh, the object's generating its own noise, but mm -hmm. the air through which the noise is traveling can't get out of the way fast enough. So as it splits uh, the object, mm -hmm. it has one small boom. And then as it reforms with itself on the back end of the object, you'll hear another one. And that's just the sound waves being pushed through by the object itself. So you're going really fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when this how fast do you know how fast you're going? Uh, let's see. Fastest I've ever been mm -hmm. is uh, about 1,350 miles an hour. Wow. So. Wow. Okay. So you, this is part of of training that you have to do on a regular basis. You know what? What exactly is the training? What are, What are you guys training for? Yep. Uh, so the training we do uh, varies from time to time. We have kind of a, a phased based training plan we go through, but uh, ultimately uh, it's just for the defense of the nation. So mm -hmm. uh, one of the main missions we do here is, is uh, ACA, and uh, that's the Homeland Defense mission. So um, anytime we had. Uh, unidentified aircraft of any kind or, or aircraft in distress that need assistance, we uh, stand by to launch and uh, perform that duty for that. So mm -hmm. so that's what you're training for. Uh, and, and we'll get calls. Well, it seems like the 180 is, is training a lot lately. Is there anything you're training for that's maybe imminent that we might expect that that's happening? Uh, not to my knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, we're still on that phase-based training plan, uh, as I mentioned before. So. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's kind of just a rotation we go through to stay sharp in case anything were to kick off. Mm -hmm. And you said that you, you send out a notice about how far in advance do you, do you all know when you're going to be doing this and then you let the rest of us know? Yep, as soon as uh, maintenance notifies us of uh, the jet being ready for a functional check flight, we can go ahead and reach out to our public affairs department and uh, they'll notify local news agencies mm -hmm. or radio as well as put out press releases on uh, the base website for the 180th Fighter Wing mm -hmm. and then uh, Facebook and Instagram as well. So mm -hmm. if anybody uh, monitors that, they should get some notification prior to the event happening and hopefully can spread the word by word of mouth mm -hmm. as well to anybody who's uh, hearing things that are a little different. Right, and and we usually find out you know several hours in advance and, and we get that out to the public so that you all know about it and then you know, still we'll get a phone call or two afterwards. What was that? And uh, you all let us know. So we're able to let the rest of the public know. But, you know, you've been, so you've been a pilot for quite some years now. Mm -hmm. And what do you love about protecting our nation in this capacity? Uh, I, I love my job. Um, I love the opportunities that it affords me to uh, meet people of an extremely high caliber. The folks I work with are, are incredible every day. And uh, I think the, being in Toledo is, is very special for me. Um, I lived away from Ohio for a long time and, and coming home is great. And the community support we've gotten here has been just incredible in the year and a half I've been here. So it's, it's been really amazing to have that kind of support from the community. I would imagine it takes a lot of training for you to get to the point where you are. <laughs> um, and, and so how important is it to keep those, your skills sharp and you know, to be doing this all the time? Yeah, uh, it's super important for us to, to keep our skills as honed as possible because we never know when we might be called to do uh, any number of missions that we train for. So um, the practice we do every day is just completely integral to uh, the lifestyle and the readiness that we look to, to have. And I think it's important here for us in Northwest Ohio specifically to have you all so close. <laughs> and so um, we'll, we'll look forward to more news releases from you and some more alerts uh, in the near future, I'm sure. Uh, do you know of any trainings that we can tell anybody about now that might be coming up that they need to be aware of? Uh, nothing that I know of at the moment mm -hmm. uh, as far as uh, any more sonic booms happening or anything like mm -hmm. that. So uh, for the time being, everything should quiet down just a little bit. 
but uh, we never know when, when you know, a deep maintenance cycle will end and we'll have to put another jet back up. Mm -hmm. So you guys are just, you're waiting on the call just as much as we are, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Well, thank you so much. We appreciate your service. And uh, thank you for being here today to kind of explain all of this because, you know, we, the viewers, they want to know, what is that noise all about? <laughs> no problem. Th thanks for being here today. Kaylee?